A mother and daughter from Canterbury facing charges tied to the January 6th riots at the nation's capital. In fact, the two were arraigned at U.S. District Court in Hartford. And both are charged with disorderly conduct as well as trespassing. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio has more on how the FBI tracked them down. The mother and daughter were arrested here in Canterbury early this morning. This FBI warrant outlining how an informant had tipped them off that the two were inside the Capitol on January 6th during the riots. This is the Facebook post that started the investigation. 19-year-old Carla Krizwicki's now deleted post of her and her 56-year-old mother, Jean Lavin, inside and outside the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. In it, she states, This is history. We do not go burning down your city and stealing from your business. We come for the government officials that are ruining our country. We go straight to the source. Change needs to happen. That is our house and you work for us. The FBI was able to review cell phone records that revealed the two women were at the Capitol during the riots. The FBI then reviewed video footage that shows Lavin and Krizwicki climbing a bike rack and entering the Capitol building. This screenshot shows the women inside the U.S. Capitol, one of them carrying the sign Trump won. Footage shows the women in the Capitol crypt here and then from the crypt proceed to the crypt lobby down toward orientation lobby, later returning to the crypt lobby and exit through the Senate wing door. In June, FBI agents interviewed the women at their home. They stated they had traveled by bus from Norwich on a trip organized by a local Facebook group. They admitted to being in the building for approximately 30 minutes, leaving for 20 minutes, and then returning inside for another 20 minutes. Chris Wicke stating her mother fell at one point while inside and they both decided to leave the area. Lavin stating they had entered the Capitol just to look around out of curiosity. The mother and daughter appeared before a judge today and they were released with no bond. They are set to appear via Zoom on September 21st for the D.C. proceeding on the riots. In Canterbury, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.